What's up YouTube, Jeff back again and today I'm bringing you guys another update on the Huawei situation. So I've spent a lot of time covering the situation with Huawei being banned by Google uh, and all the other things that happened. I'll drop the links to my coverage below. I haven't made a video in a while because there really haven't been very many updates but as you guys can see I'm still rocking my Huawei P30 Pro. I actually still have my Huawei Mate 20 Pro as well. Haven't gotten rid of them yet. Um, today I want to talk about some things that have happened and developed uh, with the Huawei situation. So there are actually three major updates I want to talk about, three different stories that have surfaced. The first one is that Google is apparently arguing in favor of Huawei with the U.S. government. Now so far Huawei has said they have not contacted the U.S. government directly to plead their case. Obviously they've done some things in the courts, uh, filed some possible lawsuits to help them maybe get their Android access back. Of course they have a temporary license until August, but it will expire after that if nothing gets resolved. But Google is arguing to the U.S. government that cutting Huawei off from Android actually threatens U.S. security. Um, their argument is basically that if Huawei decides to fork Android, uh, that's going to create a version that doesn't include Google services and, of course, Google Play Protect. Uh, that could possibly lead to someone buying the device globally, and then someone in the U.S. unknowingly sends some information uh, to somebody who's using one of those hacked Huawei phones. So Google's trying to make the argument that this might actually be much worse than allowing Huawei to keep Android support. Um, this argument is a little skeptical in my opinion. I, I don't really know if this makes sense because as we already know, Huawei is actually not really planning to fork Android long term if they lose access uh, to the operating system. They have their own operating system in the works and, and that's actually something we'll talk about here at the end. So that might not actually be valid. Uh, obviously, if Google could get this argument through, it could possibly expedite things with Huawei regaining access. Now, the second thing I want to talk about is Facebook. Now, Facebook has basically banned Huawei from doing business with them in the sense that they're not going to allow Huawei to pre-install its apps on the phones. Now, whether or not that's really a huge deal, um, is up for debate. Obviously, Facebook made some huge apps, you know, like Instagram uh, and Facebook app itself, Facebook Messenger, uh, a lot of these apps that people use globally. But of course, you can still find the apps, the APKs online. They just won't be pre-installed out of the box. Uh, obviously, this is a hit in the sense that a lot of U.S. companies are choosing to cut ties with Huawei, which doesn't really do them sort of any favors. But this might be the least, even though it's a high-profile name, it might be the least damaging uh, of all the people who've cut ties, like Google and Arm and all those other people um, that decided to cut ties with them were obviously big, bigger issues here. Um, now, the last one is one that's actually very interesting that emerged today, and that does have to do with Huawei's potential new Android replacement that I mentioned earlier. Now, we talked a little bit about what the possible names could be. Obviously, there were a lot of names being floated out there. Uh, the name that's really surfaced here in a patent is Arc OS, as you guys can see right there, Huawei Arc OS or Huawei Arc. Uh, Win Futures reporting they filed a patent back in March uh, with the German Patent and Trademark Office um, for smartphones. And uh, you can see some screenshots here that Phone Arena has. They're pretty blurry and honestly pretty bad screenshots. You really can't see that much from these screenshots. You can see sort of a weather app here, what looks like an app store. They're all monochrome. They're not even in color. Um, you can see some of the app info uh, and get some app suggestions, things like that. And you can see it looks very, very similar to Android, so kind of keeping with the current theme that they have in EMUI. So it could look very similar. Obviously, we talked about before the fact that Huawei already has uh, an app store essentially built into their devices with App Gallery, which is something I showed off uh, in one of my previous videos right here. So this is a, would be an app delivery method. Uh, obviously, if they have a new operating system, they would then need to get app developer support to support more apps uh, to put in there. That would be the tricky thing. Uh, but we can see here that Huawei is making some progress towards this. Looks like they have a name. They filed some patents. Uh, so if they don't make progress on the Android front, it's very po possible that we're going to see Huawei move forward with this later this year. All right, guys. So those are the updates on the current Huawei situation. I'm currently holding on to my Huawei devices. I have two, the most recent ones. Um, value hasn't went down as much as I expected, but I've decided to hold them for the time being. If I decide to get rid of them, it would mainly be because... Uh, I just don't necessarily need them anymore because I have so many phones coming in and going out. 
Not necessarily that I'm worried about these phones getting updates because I think the P30 Pro and the Mate 20 Pro will continue getting updates um, you know, in the future. It doesn't look like they're going to really get slighted from this. It's uh, future phones that are in a lot more doubt. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification icon so I can make future videos like this. You can find me at Twitter and Instagram. The link's in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.